So on this channel, there was a time I wanted to have a segment called Rock Fan Q&A where people ask me a certain question, where a lot of people get to ask me a certain question or if there was a topic that a lot of people were asking me, I record myself talking about this topic. And one of the most popularly asked question uh, this month or this week, this month, this week, for a very long while, has been a degree ever since your channel got monetized. Can you please tell us, does YouTube pay for views or pay for subscribers? And today that's what I want to talk about, especially because uh, in the Kenyan rock scene, we need more people to, uh, you know, become content creators on YouTube. So I was like, hopefully this video can help you people understand or demystify the whole thing regarding payment on YouTube and how it all works, okay? So, if you're brand new to this channel, I typically talk about rock music on this channel, but today I want to talk about YouTube since this is something that a lot of rock fans ask me. How does YouTube pay? Well, to start off, just so you know, YouTube pays for views, not subscribers, okay? But, having more views does not necessarily mean more money. <laughs> okay, let me explain that again. Subscribers don't mean jack-ish, okay? <laughs> Subscribers don't mean anything when it comes to payment. YouTube pays for views, but having more views does not necessarily mean more money. So I'm going to explain this. Number one, having many subscribers does not matter. In fact, nowadays subscribers have become less important on YouTube. YouTube nowadays looks at the quality of the video, not really how many, how big your followership is. In a long time ago, they used to factor in how many subscribers you had. They used to look at, if you have a large fan base, they send out your video to that large fan base, and you know, you get more views, which results to more subscribers. But nowadays, even someone with 10 subscribers can get 5,000 views, just like someone with a subscriber base like mine. So subscribers do not guarantee that it does not guarantee viewership or does not guarantee, does not mean that you get paid more youtube has something called cpm which i think stands for cost per mile something like that cpm means how much youtube pays you for every a thousand views okay so different channels have different cpms and that cpm changes per audience let me let, try and remember this. It changes. That's the important part. It, it changes per audience, per channel, per video, I think per topic. <laughs> yeah. Let, let, let me just speak those four. Per, per, per video, per channel, per topic, and per audience. Okay. So let me pick the first one. Per audience. It, it, it changes per audience. What does this mean? It means that if I am in Kenya, but my audience is in America, I will get paid more than if my audience is in Kenya. The CPM of Kenya, if you're a Kenyan YouTuber and your audience is in Kenya, your CPM is, I think, one dollar. $1. Yeah, one dollar. Kenya has a very low CPM. And then uh, if your audience is in America or, or Europe, outside Africa, <laughs> outside Africa, you'll, your, your, your CPM will tend to be higher. Why? Simply because americas and europe you know people are consuming more youtube and therefore advertisers the ads that you see playing on the on the youtube video they tend to be worth more the, the, the advertiser has paid more to reach the audience compared to kenya they think in kenya people consume youtube less so the advertiser is, is inclined to pay less i think that's the logic behind it so yeah that's what that's why if your audience is outside africa you will probably earn more oh by the way just so you know someone has to watch if, if you're planning to start a YouTube channel and you're wondering how do you earn money from ads, people have to watch the advert. So which means that if you have an audience that skips all your ads, you'll earn very little. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The subscriber base doesn't matter. If you have a thousand people watching all your ads on all your videos and you have 10,000 subscribers on another channel where people are not watching any ads, you might it might be the same amount of money. In fact, the person with 10,000 subscribers may earn less because people are watching less ads on that channel. Okay, so, so the next thing is uh, the CPM can even change per month. Why? Because sometimes in the holiday, advertisers, this all has to do with advertising. So during the holiday, advertisers maybe have a higher budget for how much they want to spend on on YouTube ads, sometimes they want to reach, you know, like like holiday, Christmas people, you know, advertisers want you to buy more. 
or advertisers want you to buy more so uh, they are willing to pay more money so that they can be able to reach you and therefore CPM can go higher especially during the holiday uh, next up is the topic there are certain topics that are I think much more family friendly than others so also the number of ads on a video means that a youtuber earns more money so if this video has two ads maybe one at the beginning one at the end and someone skips both the youtuber earns nothing but if i had like five ads maybe one at the beginning three in the middle and then one at the end and maybe a, and then maybe the viewer watches two in the middle yeah and maybe the one at the end i earn more simply because of having many more ads so audience the video the, the topic some topics are much more family friendly therefore putting ads is easier some topics are not as family friendly like there's a certain video i did called um uh, these black goths are awesome i'll leave it to, to pop up here yeah that video has limited advertising simply because of you know it has to do with goths and imagery and stuff like that but a video like this teaching about youtube will probably uh, you know be very easily monetizable and the next thing is your audience the older your audience the more money you earn yeah the older your audience the more money you earn so if this video is let's say my channel the people who watch are typically in maybe 40s 50s i will be paid more compared to my, if my channel was being watched by people between the age of maybe 18 to 30. why because let's say an ad for the new iphone plays on my screen someone who is between the age of 40 50 60 can be able to buy the new iphone while someone who is 18 uh, maybe 20 25 may not have the money so youtube assumes that if if the advert is reaching someone who's older google has data on all of us so if you're wondering how how does youtube know uh who's watching my videos you google has data on all of us all of us so it knows that the people who watch my channel are between this age and this age so i get paid a certain amount your channel is being watched by older people people who are 40s 50s 60s there's a high chance that you'll earn more also the the, the niche the niche the niche means uh like for example my niche this youtube channel my niche is rock music so if your niche is things to do with tech uh insurance uh things to do with making money online youtube you know it has to do with money so youtube will pay you more me i've seen there's someone i watch on youtube who teaches people how to make money online his cpm is 40 dollars for every a thousand views yeah 40 dollars there's a there's a there are videos that he earns 40 dollars the views on a video may be small maybe like 500 but if most of those 500 people are watching the full video and there are like six ads on that video and all those all those 500 people are watching all the ads even if i have few views i'm earning a lot of money but like i said niche topic audience age uh, all these all these factors there are so many factors that play in yeah sometimes time of the month time of the year so yeah youtube youtube is looking more into the views but if someone has blocked your ads like let's say they have ad blocker it doesn't matter if they view the video if they don't if there are no ads playing if there are no ads playing and this person is not watching any ads you as the youtuber you as the youtuber who they are, your videos are being watched by this person who has blocked ads you won't earn anything from them and that is how it all really works it has to, it has to be the, the simple answer is that youtube pays you for views but the audience must be willing to watch the ads and it must be in a country with a high cpm the audience must be in a country that uh, with a high cpm the video must be family friendly enough to be able to put enough ads the more ads on the video the more the video itself are and you more money so the simple logic is that if you have more videos you should be able to earn more money if you are able to get many views on a video but most of those people are blocking blocking the ads on that video or they, they are watching that video for a few minutes and then clicking away it doesn't matter if the video is 30 minutes and you put six ads on it and most people are only watching three minutes and then they click away that video will earn you very little money so it's best that if you are thinking of setting a YouTube channel, uh, you create many, many videos with family friendly stuff. Try and target what uh, people from abroad, not just Kenya, are looking to watch. And, you know, just maybe create a tight bond with your audience. I and mean, I know there are people who watch my videos and they, and they send me screenshots showing me that they are watching my ads. So I say thanks to them because they know that if they watch an ad, uh, 
I get paid a certain amount of money. And by the way, if an ad is something like 30 seconds and you watch, let's say 10 seconds, YouTube calculates how much of the ad you watched and then, you know, like tallies it up. Yeah, I'm giving you like a simplified version of it. YouTube will look at how much, let's say you who's watching right now watches an ad on my channel for 15 seconds and the ad was a whole minute. That 15 seconds, before you click skip, YouTube will have tallied that 15 seconds and then it will add up how many, how, how many, you know, how much time, how many, uh, the, the duration of ads that has been watched on your channel and then pay you something for that because also YouTube takes a, like a percentage. YouTube takes a percentage of those, of uh, that ad revenue that is coming to you. Thank you so much. I hope I've helped you understand that uh, it's not really one plus one is equals two. Just because someone has few views, don't think that, 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 that they're earning little money. Don't think that someone, just because someone earning, has a, a million views that they're earning a lot of money. Don't think that just because someone has a few subscribers that they can't earn a lot. Actually, they can. Ads isn't the only way to earn money on YouTube. You can earn money from sponsorships, you know, brand endorsements and stuff like that. So affiliate links, affiliate links are typically in the, in the description section. People go click and if they use that link to buy something, the YouTuber earns a cut, something like that. All right. I hope I have helped some of you understand so that you can get off my back in <laughs> understanding how YouTube pays. And in case you want to start your YouTube channel, I hope this has helped you. All right. Please make sure to give this video a like. If it has helped you understand something, subscribe and tap the bell icon thing so that you're notified of new videos in case you want to stay updated with my content. All right. Thank you so much for watching. You take care. And God bless.